want to kick us off? Sure. That's what I was going to say. The ISC are considering hopscotch to be one of the next engines. Like, considering. Last time I said hopscotch, I was nine. Well. It's so embarrassing, right? Like, three weeks to a What? 30 year old boyfriend. Her 30 year old boyfriend is. So I'm like, hopscotch. Yeah, yeah. This is the time that yeah. you've taken. You're really good at this. <laughs> if it helps, I was terrified before we started. Oh, good. Yeah, sure you were. Oh, it didn't show. No. Which shorts do you think look the most exciting today? I haven't looked at the uh, lineup. I just watch shorts because I love independent filming. But I always love shorts. I make them myself. Um, I think they're a ton of fun because they can turn into anything. We're really excited. There's a lot of exciting shorts around. What yeah. shorts do you guys have your eye on? Well, actually, uh, we don't have our eye on any of the shorts. We just like seeing short films. I just wanted on record that I was I was wearing those bad boys the entire time and no one said a thing about them. I always never miss the shorts. Shorts can be a little bit vibrant and ridiculous. Yes. Uh, in this hallway, have you seen any shorts that uh, catch your eye maybe? Um, no, not yet. Not yet? Okay, yeah, that's can't fine. Wait, Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> now we've got more time to talk. Hey, Kevin, it's your project. Ding, ding. Oh, that was it. That was really right on. Oh, 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 Truth on Cinema is officially wrapping live coverage of the Dallas International Film Festival 2015. It was a blast, made a lot of new friends, played some fascinating games, got more exclusive interviews than ever, and gave high praise to films that eventually ended up winning the festival. So I'm feeling pretty good about us. Way to go team. Keep your eyes here at truthoncinema.com. We'll have all of those exclusives post-festival coverage.